Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Wheel of Fortune Mystic Tarot. My name is Mia and in today's video we will be asking for spirit to tell us who or what is sending you negative energy and how you can recognize, block and resolve it cast it out all right because you are empowered remember that you are not a victim to nothing or no one so as you can see you have these three groups to choose from today for group number one we have card number eight it says Scylla and resilience and with it we have a rose quartz angel crystal for group number two, we have Karen, Reciprocity, number 18, and a blue howlite angel crystal. And for group number three, we have Lemur, Loneliness, number 27, and this beautiful opalite angel crystal. All you need to do now, as always, is to focus your attention on today's topic, close your eyes, take a deep breath, pause the video if you have to, and when you think you're ready, just see which one of these three groups calls your attention the most. Do not overthink it, let your intuition decide, and then you can have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamps for each individual group, so I will see you there. Welcome to your reading, group number one. Everyone who resonated with Scylla Resilience, number eight, and the Rose Quartz Angel Crystal. So on this very stormy day, excuse any noise that you might hear, I will be telling you with the help of spirit what or who is sending you negative energies and how you can recognize and block them and transmute them. Remember, you are never a victim of anything. As soon as you recognize any low vibrational darkness, you are in charge and you can cast it out. You are empowered. I want you to know that. Um, so... By recognizing the issue, there's a lot that you can do. And, um, you know, I'm getting psychic downloads when I see things and touch things. So give me a second. Um, so you are obviously in this state here. You are in despair. There is a lot on your mind and soul that is causing for you to feel like you've lost control. <laughs> and all these snakes on her head here this toxic energy and hang on i just need to do something real quick sorry i just had to get rid of some annoying flies i don't know if you could see them but that's actually not a coincidence so there are these toxic vibes you know that are circling around your head like a fly um and um but in this case it's a very intimidating fly here energetic fly it is causing you so much grief and hardship and you are really going through it a lot of emotional upheaval you feel like you're drowning in the flood and it could be that this negative energy was brought upon by loss so you could have lost a person that you loved you lost maybe if not a person something that was meaningful to you or you had to turn your back on a situation on a person walk away from them in order to save you keep in mind this reading is for the collective not every single detail will resonate only take what feels is for you what doesn't will be for someone else just feel peaceful about it but I really feel for you guys. You are crying a lot. You are worrying a lot. You're not sleeping well. And it could be that you have migraines um, or nightmares. Um, but you are very resilient. And resilience is the energy that you need in order to move on from this negative energy so far. I haven't really been able to see if there is someone in specific sending you these energies. We will look into that in a little bit, but there is definitely um, this toxic energy cloud weighing you down, causing you this grief. And remember, if you recognize it, you can cast it out. It doesn't matter where it comes from. You are in charge. Um, 
So basically, if you see yourself now drowning in an ocean and there is a storm and you're feeling so weak and you're so scared and it's nighttime and the waves are so intimidating, just tell yourself this is just a phase. The sun will go up again. The waters will calm down. I will reach an island. Be resilient. Keep on swimming. If you can't swim anymore, just turn yourself um, with your belly up on your back. Let yourself float. You will not drown. Okay? Be in that energy. Tell it to yourself and it will have an effect. So this is something very, very deep here that we're talking about. And an angelic energy that will help you with it is the Rose Quartz Angel. Rose Quartz is about love, okay? Is about... I don't want to trigger you by saying that. Um, but it's about not taking this dark energy too seriously, okay? Obviously, you have so many reasons to take this seriously, and you should. But, you know, again, don't feed it. Because the more you worry, the more you feed into it. So just say, you are just a dark energy cloud. It will pass, okay? And use rose quartz, use um, light pink as a color to um, clean your energy field, okay? To cleanse your energy field. Crystals really do work if you believe in them. And the power of crystals, they work. If you believe in the power of color, work with those colors to cast out this darkness. I want to get now some more cards to get more into who or what is giving you this energy so that you can basically take off this hat of snakes and toss it into the water. But I, I can already tell that um, for many of you watching, it's loss and grief and the aftermath that's been, you know, putting you in this low vibrational state, which is then causing for you to feel hopeless and this energy just attracts more situations like that so it's probably grief but we'll ask spirit if it is anything else spirit is it anything else for group number one that's giving them negative energy who or what is it what are these snakes spirit expose these snakes so that we can cast them out what are these snakes oh wow Oh my god. Um, so number nine. See, this looks like a monster to me, but here it says guardians. So and again it says D guys, eight nine. This is not a demon attacking you. That's the monsters, the good monsters protecting you. So you are not alone. You never walk alone. And know that while you might be feeling extremely exposed to this um, darkness, there are powerful angels fighting by your side to protect you. Um, I know they look evil, but they're actually good in your case. Maybe you actually have pets, maybe you have dogs. So they are little spirit guides in person helping you on your journey. It's certainly the case with my cat. Um, so this kind of just tells us that you have to indeed be protected from these snakes. So this is a bit more of a tangible threat or it's become one. So who or what is this, please, spirit? Who or what is this? Spirit, who or what is this? Foresight, Sibyl. Okay, so this is definitely loss number 13. So loss, you probably lost a loved one and you are part of my Purple Heart family from my big YouTube channel, uh, Why Channel Diseased Loved Ones. Again, if you didn't lose a person, maybe you went through a breakup breakups feel like grief as well okay and that person is still alive so you lost a very very significant relationship and you are in this state so know that the negative energy comes from your pain comes from you drowning in this ocean of loneliness and that your um 
victim mentality and i'm not judging you i'm going to explain just attracts more of that darkness so you have to learn to uplift yourself and move on from this loss in order to stop attracting negative energies and you know you're already doing it if you recognize that yes that's me yes that's absolutely me i have not been able to deal with the grief i only see what i lost i'm stuck in the past i'm not moving forward i'm not you know all of these things, if you recognize them, you will be able to move on from them and you open up to the light that's, you know, around you and protecting you, guys. So it often happens that when people suffer a blow of fate, a severe one, that they are so struck by it that they stay down on the ground, that they are not able to lift themselves up and they become very bitter or too sad. And guys, these energies, you need to cleanse them out because they attract more of their kind. So if bad luck has been hunting, hunting and haunting you ever since, is because you haven't picked yourself up the ground yet. And you have to learn to be more independent, guys. You can't Put all of your happiness into the hands of someone dead or alive. You can't be like, I lost this person and I will never be happy again. If you if you say that, then it will become true and then you will not get out of this negativity. But if you say, okay, I lost this person, we are separated, but I am my own empowered being and I need to still be here and I will follow my fate and my true soul path empowered then you can drag yourself out. So it's actually up to you. You can decide to put down this hat of snakes. You can decide to keep on swimming, okay? Or you can decide to just give up and give in and drown. So it's up to you guys. It takes a lot of work and resilience to do this. I'm the perfect example, um, but it's possible, okay? It's absolutely possible. So we're going to get some advice from your angels now on how you can deal with it. But realize the negativity comes from loss and your state of um, mind and your darkness. That's been attracting more of its kind. Okay. If you appreciate the reading, please give it a thumbs up and please comment. It really helps. Comment a purple heart. And if you're new and would like to stay, please subscribe. It's free. Turn on the little bell so that you won't miss out on my content. And let's continue. Angels. Angels, please help. Group number one. Okay. There is the help. Nine of Gabriel, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. So if you don't know how to heal yourself from the grief and how to distract yourself, spend more time out in nature. Nature is healing. Get some plants, like grow something, breathe more um, fresh air work out outside, go for walks, meditate, connect with animals and mother nature, that will heal you. And it feels like you need a hobby, a hobby to distract you on a daily basis. And I would seriously, your angels are saying, get into gardening um, or growing plants or maybe um, into crafts like arts and crafts that involve nature and you need to want this you need to want to move out of this darkness okay stay determined move forward and just be open for the possibility that good things will come your way okay if you open up to it it will find you but if you say i lost this person i'll never be happy again well you won't be but then you are the person sending you that negative energy and this is hard to hear but it's the truth guys there's a lot of physical prosperity that is uh, available to you if if you want it okay ten of raphael look there's a rainbow so rainbows are signs from your guides that things will get better again that you will have this rainbow after the storm and this 
look to me like little blue birds sitting on her shoulder and hands, but it's like it's her dress. So blue birds will be a sign for you. And it says, love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. So your angels are saying, you will have this happily ever after if you believe it, okay? If you are open to the possibility of finding new love or a new relationship or a new whatever it is that you lost. Be open to it and it will find you, okay? You need to be in the mindset that you deserve these blessings, all right? So you will have emotional fulfillment. It's absolutely there and focus on that. Visualize it and don't keep on visualizing your loss because that's how you manifest it. Also, if you have physical health issues, they come from you not moving on from your grief and that will heal itself as well if you accept the loss and move on from it. Ten of Michael, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you guys. This is a super obvious reading here for you. You need to put the past behind you. Educate yourselves about soul contracts, about, you know, karma and um, that we, about rebirth. It really helps and accept endings and every ending will bring with it itself, with itself, a new beginning and new opportunities. Okay. But accept the ending, embrace it, deal with it and seriously stop dwelling on it. It's destroying you. But so many good things will come from it if, if you decide to move forward. And maybe you should um, get into some kind of physical activity, do yoga or pilates or whatever tickles your fancy or um, dancing or maybe ballet but you need to move your body and move your body outside in mother nature that will help you get grounded maybe pick up qigong or maybe uh, martial arts you need to work with your body because the body stores trauma okay we um we store trauma in our body. So if we get the body moving, the trauma will come out as well. So there are so many good things waiting for you, but you need to want them. You need to want them. You need to open up your eyes and just swim, swim to the shore. The emperor. Okay, Archangel Uriel, stability and efficiency, taking efficiency, yeah. taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So this is a very tough love kind of angel coming through right now. And this reminds me of a story. And it's important that you hear the story if you're still here of a man, this poor, poor guy lost his wife to cancer. And then a few months after, he tragically lost his two little sons. In an accident and he was so grief struck that he barricaded himself in his house he painted the windows black he he closed all doors to the outside world and he was rotting away in his house if that sounds like you listen now he then had an experience where his children appeared to him and they said and they were very strict, stop throwing your life away. We are happy that you were our father in this lifetime. We are happy that you loved us, but you have to move on now. Don't put your happiness in our hands. You are your own independent being. You need to stop being so disrespectful to you and the creator who made you. Get out of your house. So he got a massive kick in the butt. And he followed the advice and he had been working as a um, regular nurse before. And then he worked as a hospice nurse, helping people um, transitioning into the afterlife and the people they left behind. So you have a very strict angel coming through that right now telling you, stop this attitude here. Take charge, move forward. It's in your hands. The negative energy comes from lust. The fact that it's still here and it's been building up is because you haven't moved forward, okay? So make new plans and ambitions. And my cat is saying, yes, he's, he's just meowed, okay? Be ambitious. 
anyone can find a new passion project that will motivate us, okay? If it's a hobby, a craft, like a goal with your physical health, do it and it will help you, okay? So this is all I have for you in this reading. I hope it brought you clarity. If that's the case, leave a thumbs up. Otherwise, take very good care until very soon. Bye-bye. Welcome to your reading, group number two, everyone who resonate with the blue howlite angel and the um, Karen card that says reciprocity and number 18 on it. So in today's reading, spirit will be telling you who or what is sending you negative energies and how you can recognize, block and transmute them. Because guys, we are not victims. Um, pop culture tries to tell us that we can get possessed and um, cursed and stuff. Yes, we can, but only if we allow it. We are all independent beings. We have freedom of will. And if we cast out darkness, it has to obey. Just listen to this reading with that mindset, all right? So there is darkness surrounding you here, number 18. And I can already tell you guys that this message will include me as well. We are in the same boat. Oh my God, you guys. So um, just know that this is for a collective uh, group of people here. Not every detail will resonate. Only take what is right for you and feel peaceful about what doesn't. It will be for someone else. Um, if you are awake and not one of the sheeple, you will know that humanity has been going through so much darkness. And why is that? It's because we are shifting. Look at this man here on the boat. He is moving forward, okay? And he has a lantern in his hand. So, um, guys, we have the light in our hands. We are light workers. That's why darkness kind of follows, surrounds and um, us and is attracted by us because we are light workers. And the light can only exist in darkness. Realize that without darkness, there can't be any light and vice versa. So the darkness here comes from human karma. It's, it's humanity. It's human karma that is causing for us to feel haunted by darkness. So it's nothing too personal. Of course, we agreed as souls before incarnating into this lifetime to be born in this exact time to experience exactly what is happening in the world right now. But um, it's not that... Um, we are cursed, so do not feel cursed, you're not cursed, you are here for a reason and it's to discover your own light, to shine it and to help like-minded people in this spiritual warfare between darkness and light. And personal blows of fate also play into this. So if, for example, you have lost a loved one recently or in, in your life since you were born, it's part of human karma. Many people go through this. If you have experienced loss in other parts of your life, it's you, but it's also society. And if you have learned from your loss and pain and hardship, you have accumulated a lot of light, of wisdom and love, and you are here to shine it upon other people to help them in their darkness. So, guys, um, reciprocity. Now, it could be that you feel like you keep on giving, you keep on giving, you keep on being the bigger person, the smarter one, um, the one who tries to help and other people around you are just dark. They don't give back to you. And you feel like your batteries are becoming very empty. If that's the case, guys, this is for you. This is definitely for you. And you might be already moving on to somewhere where you will find like-minded people who give back to you what give you give to them. So I'm seeing this as a very positive card because look at all the light here and look at this guy here with his um, yellow um, coat. And this looks like a sword to me. So yeah, we are light workers and there are keys here. So we have come a very long way. It's so important that if you're still here, that you realize that the fact you're still alive and breathing and hopefully having somewhat of a positive mindset means that you have unlocked many... Um, 
chapters on your karmic path that come with a lot of spiritual wisdom. This is certainly true for me. I have been through absolute hell in my life, but it has led me to seek answers and I have been receiving incredible answers this past year, 2023. I have moved up big time when it comes to spirituality and I'm trying to share it on both of my channels. So you are in charge, you are empowered, you are not cursed. There is no certain individual sending you darkness, guys. This is human karma. The old world is dying, is going down with the devil. And after its destruction, there will be a rebirth. There will be a new world based on love and light. And we are transitioning into it. But of course, we're still going through the darkness. And it could be that you are dealing with a lot of confusion now. You don't know where you're headed in your life. You don't know why you're still here and what to do. You're very scared. Don't be. You are here for a reason and you are protected. And um, turquoise is the color of the throat chakra. So this is about truth, guys. Just stand your truth. Stand your ground. Stand for truth. Um, that's what I wanted to say. Truth. You might be someone like me who, especially during these past two, three years, saw the truth and you were ridiculed, called a conspiracy theorist or a crazy person or a betrayer or whatever. You're not. You are right. So don't think that because the world as it is hasn't changed yet that you are wrong. You are right. And soon the world will see. All I say is Pluto in Aquarius. If you haven't watched my astrology predictions reading, I highly suggest and recommend that you do. So spirits, what more can you tell us about the darkness here so that we can recognize it and transmute it? Oh, wow. Grief. Okay, grief. So yes, you could have lost a loved one. Or you're just grieving because you see the world dying. Um, you know, it's not just people who are dying. Mother Nature is actively being killed and destroyed by the same people who publicly say that they're trying to take measures to protect it. Do not trust your authorities. They are the devil. Okay, and I need to really be careful not to get my uh, channel deleted, but the old world is dying and it's being actively killed. And there's a quote by Goethe, one of the great German poets and thinkers. He says that evil always does what it wants, but unknowingly it always does good by doing evil as well. So if they're now killing the old world, they're helping bring upon this shift. If you see number 333, it's a sign from your angels that you're not alone in the spiritual warfare, that there is light um, supporting you, okay? And if you're hurting and you can't, many of you, you'll be like me, you don't watch the news anymore because they only bring bad stuff that is so stressful and guys 99% of the news is based on lies and manipulation so don't watch them don't read them don't do anything if you like this and you're just hiding your head in the sand keep on doing that because um, all you need is love and all you need is what's within and within you have a lot of light um, so feel empowered on this seemingly very lonely journey through the dark, you're not alone. You have angels with you. So you're not cursed, okay? And no one is sending you negative energy. It's just that the world is su such a negative place, but it will get better. And also, guys, do some mudras. She's doing mudras kind of to me. Mudras is like yoga for the hands. Do some research and practice it as a form of meditation. It will help you feel more grounded and empowered in this darkness. Yes, she is a warrior. You can be a man watching this, okay? So we're just all warriors. We are light warriors. Um, she has a sword here and she looks so fierce. So just be in that mindset, okay? You can do so much in this darkness by just speaking out truths, by spreading messages of truth and by standing your ground and by not buying into the absolute horrific satanic bull s-h-i-t that um our authorities shove down our throats don't buy it you know just stand your ground be persistent and you will soon move on um to to the new world um 
again, I have so much to say about this. Um, I did say a lot in my astrology predictions reading. The next year, this 2024, 2025 will be tough, but 2026 is when we will see the horizon, okay, the, the sun. And it's kind of coming out a little bit right now. So you are not cursed. You are a warrior. And the more that you see yourself as that, the more that you um, play this role as a warrior of light and a light worker, the better it will feel for you. The more you will cast out this darkness, but it can also be, and I'm just being real with you, that if you fight for the light, that the darkness will attack you even more. But just see it as, as a game, as a fight, as a battle that we will absolutely win. That's just the way it is. Um, also, you could be someone who's like me, very nature oriented. You love Mother Nature. You spend a lot of time outside. If you do, please continue. It's what brings you healing. And it's so funny what's happening right now. So I live in the middle of nowhere, okay? Like no one ever is seen here apart from my very few neighbors and lots of cows and horses. And there are two guys walking along um, this dirt road that we have here next to the horse paddocks. And one of them is carrying a stick that looks like a sword. So this is a message from spirit that help is sent our way in this battle, okay? Light workers will um, find themselves and will support each other. And if it's not visible people, it will be um, angels, okay? This card just fell out and it doesn't make a lot of sense because I haven't asked the question yet. Please, guys, if you appreciate this reading, give it a thumbs up and um, leave a comment. It helps so much. Comment light worker or leave a purple heart. And if you're new here and would like to stay, please subscribe and turn on the little bell icon so that you will be notified when I post something new. La. La? Why do I say that? Sometimes I say words. What does la mean? Someone who has a foreign native language that is not English, what does la mean? La. I just said la for no reason at all. That must mean something, la. And I wanted to say banish, um, banish. Um, we need to banish out these dark energies. Okay. Angels, please give us more advice here on how we can transmute the darkness into light. Again, oh my god, guys. So she, that was the same card. Or was it not? No, it was not, sorry. I'm, I'm a bit confused right now. I thought this card was the same that showed up first in group number one. No, no, no. Okay. Ace of Gabriel, guys, aces are what we need. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. This is the same energy. And again, you can be a man watching this. Just picture a male angel here and a male warrior. But... The power is in our hands and it's so important that we are here and that we are not intimidated by the confusion. Okay, we just need to embrace it and, and keep on fighting, okay? And a chance to do something amazing. This is an amazing opportunity that you are alive at this time of age and that you are here to defend the good side, okay? And uh, the more you take upon this task that you chose as a soul, the more interesting it will get and the more signs you will receive. But the heavens are definitely with you. And look how she's like holding her, her wand, her sword here. Just be like that. Three of Gabriel. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So just stay optimistic. I know it's difficult in this time of darkness, but your angels are saying you have every right, right to be optimistic because if you are, that energy attracts a positive outcome. And move forward. Don't be shy. Keep on walking. Keep on fighting. It will pay off. Okay? And make plans. Don't be like, oh my God, the world is ending. I don't want to make plans because everything's going to end up in ruins anyways. No, don't be like that. Still dream big for your future. That will help bring upon the new world. 
And butterflies are a sign from your angels for sure. And angel wings. If you see angel wings, that's for sure a big, big sign that your angels are with you. Ace of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. This definitely resonates with me. So in my darkness, that's been going on since I was three years old, but accumulated through the, the past four years, I have not let that kill me, okay? I, I walk through hell proudly and empowered, and I say to the devil, just bring it on you crafty little mf <laughs> i just, i have not lost my humanness okay be the same way guys be proud that you are a light worker don't be intimidated and your angels are applauding you they're saying we are so proud of you that you're still here we see that you have learned that you have chosen empowerment over passiveness that you have chosen growth and healing over feeling defeated and giving in so keep on going and educate yourself more about true spirituality if you are part of my bigger youtube channel i post a lot of educational shorts about karma and death and soul contracts i will try to remember to link the playlist in the description box of this video so you might want to check it out and just keep on educating yourself and trust that your angels will show you i just told you angel wings are a sign and here we have these white angel wings they will show you um you know youtube videos or books or whatever information will help you on your journey it's time to educate so that you can help others love that and this was actually the very um first card that I pulled from this deck for myself when I first received it. Now, King of Ariel. And here is the white angel again. Successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. So guys, the outcome will be amazing of this journey if we stay consistent and if we feel empowered, okay? We will absolutely be part of the new world. See yourself as part of the new world that will inevitably find its way on this planet, okay? And know that if you make these plans, they will come true and it will work out so well and you'll be feeling so successful. And know that in the future, you might have a career in this field of spirituality and being a light worker okay so you are powerful you are successful you will win that's your mantra that's how you will get through this darkness this is all i have for you for now please leave a like and take super good care and until very soon hopefully bye Welcome to your reading, group number three, everyone who resonated with the lovely opalite angel crystal and this Lemur card, number 27, loneliness. So with the help of spirit, I will be telling you who or what is sending you negative energy, how you can detect it, block it, transmute it, cast it out because you are empowered. You're never a victim of any curses or any manipulation if you wake up to it you are in charge because you are an independent empowered being know that okay this reading is here not to scare you it's here to help you um i know what i'm talking about and um, just know that um it's for the collective so if you hear something that doesn't feel right for you feel peaceful about it it will be for someone else only take what feels right in your heart um Guys, I get psychic downloads when I touch things and look at them. And um, I will give you the truth. So um, only watch this reading if you're in the right state of mind. All right. If you're scared, don't watch this reading because your fear will attract something fearful. If you watch this reading being scared, guys, it will scare you. So don't watch it. That's your trigger warning. If, if you're scared, watch a different reading. All right. So... If you're still here, let's go. There's no reason to be scared because you have angels here, angels watching over you. But 
honestly, I can see that you're feeling very lonely. It says a loneliness on the card. And again, it could be because of loss and grief or because you're just a loner. You're very, very different and you don't like this world at all. And I'm not blaming you at all. This world is very dark. And what's happened to my fairy lights? My fairy lights have kind of died. So this... This energy is like the lights are out, okay? All you see is is black. Uh, what's this? There is a song, Painted Black. It reminds me about that. So um, the lights are out. Now, that being said, and this is only true if it resonates and you will already know this. Some of you, you could have been experiencing some paranormal phenomena. Okay, like something that you could could consider a haunting. I'm not a fan of that because you are in charge. Nothing can haunt you if you don't allow it. Okay, um, but maybe there are spirits playing with your lights, your electricity. Maybe you see shadow people or like smoky figures. This is only true if it, you have experienced it. If not, no need to be afraid. All right. Um, some of you might have a little bit lost their mind because of all the darkness that you have been facing in your life. So you might suffer from some mental health issues. Um, yeah. Guys, again, you will know this and there's a lot that you can do to fight this, but I won't, you will know this. Um, if if this sounds like it's not for you, it won't be. But there are a few people who have a spirit in your house, an entity, an energy vampire that you need to cast out. This is probably a lost soul. I don't even know if it's linked to you. It's It just likes your energy. Because if you are in an energy of confusion, of low vibrational um, density and fear... You attract beings that vibrate on the same level. And there is an entity that wants to either make itself known to you because they're looking for answers or they just feed off that energy. So you you need to cleanse your energy field. All you need to do is, and you need to firmly believe it, is to say out loud, this is my energy field, this is my house, this is my body, I do not allow for any other being to be here, please go away, okay, light some candles, smudge, open your windows, use crystals, whatever you believe in, music always works, guys, look for um, energy music, like white light energy music on YouTube, um, whatever feels right for you, don't play heavy metal music obviously like or like any dark rap music now like classical music helps a lot guys I'm not saying that because I play violin I'm saying that because it's absolutely true Bach and this is scientifically proven his music has a lot of alpha wave energy and if you play that music dark entities don't like it they are just immediately cast out by by just the melody so do whatever you need to do and um, also know that your angels have a bit of a hard time to reach you because there is this veil around you. So that could come from your mental health issues. And um, either you are on drugs, on meds. Medicine is not always good for you. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a medium. Only watch my readings if you vibe with the fact that I'm a spiritual teacher. Dear Karens, if you're watching, okay. Um, obviously listen to your doctors but also listen to many scientists who also say that medicine harms you more than it does good so it could be the medicine having a negative effect on you or it could be environmental pollution i can't give you the truth on here unfortunately but the air is not clean the food we eat is not or it could be that you consume some substances to deal with your pain and for everyone watching who is still here you need to stop that you need to detox you need to detox your body mind and soul open your windows get fresh air move get exercise speak words of positivity light candles and also drink 
water, fresh, clear water. You can um, make crystal water, crystal infused fresh water. You can put certain crystals in water and um, let it kind of soak overnight and then drink it. I would put crystal quartz in clean water and drink it, spray it in your room, eat clean, okay? If you've been wanting to start a diet and detox, do it, but do not consume any of those rubbish fruit smoothie diet shake recipes no just eat clean eat veggies and fruit and drink healthy fluids you need to detox okay because that negative energy comes from beings who feed off your fear and sadness okay now spirit what more can we do here what more can you tell us about the dark energy Oh, wow. I'm getting goosebumps right now. So I have viewers from all over the world, which I absolutely love. I'm so curious about other cultures. I'm a true Sagittarius, guys. Let me know where you're watching me from. If you are from a culture where you believe in um, witches, where they play a big part in your folklore... You could be dealing with a witch and witches are real, but so are angels. You know, many people give away so much power to evil. They believe in demons, the devil and witches and curses. Uh, but they don't believe in angels and in God and in blessings, guys. The one can't exist without the other. So it could very well be for those of you who resonate and you will know this that there is one specific witch sending you these energies and now you know now they've been exposed and you can cast them out with light number 19 is light light candles use sunlight spend more time outside in the sun as well guys many of you you might have gone a little bit crazy and you spend too much time awake at night that's not good for your mental health and your body spend more time in the sun now the sun is sh shining and say visualize white light and cast out this witch that you will know okay because you're not a victim and don't say it with anger don't say it with fear because if you feel anger you will attract angry energies. If you feel fear, you will attract fear. Just say it um, proudly and in an empowered way. Say, I am an independent soul. I have free will. I do not allow negative energies. Go away. Okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You could also have some toxic people in, in your surroundings. So... Again, people who take drugs, illegal drugs as well as prescription drugs, they often lose their minds. And when people lose their minds, they attract negative beings. So it could be a negative person around you. Um, if you can't move out or move away from that person, you can protect your energy field, okay? Visualize white light. Visualize a light white border around you. It does work. So they've been exposed. There is this particular person okay or energy you know them now you can tell them to f off <laughs> don't do that because again that's that wasn't good of me that is um a curse word and you're not allowed to curse okay just say it proudly and using words of kindness and love they hate that they really really hate that mermaid beauty i love that i love mermaids you will know this and i love this card even more because it's temperance card energy i have on my channel i will try to remember and link it in the description box remember remind me if i forget um a tarot ritual that you can do to protect your energies and in the tarot ritual i explain how you set up your altar um, and I would highly recommend that you use the temperance card from the major arcana, which depicts an angel. OK, so call upon angels, visualize those angels. They will cast out this negativity from a person, from the drugs you're taking, OK, from from your mind fog. You can cast them out and um also do like a, a cleansing ritual with your body, detox, and also maybe do a spirit bath. If you don't know what that is, do your research, 
Okay, mermaid, you won't drown in your sorrow. You're a mermaid. You can swim in it gracefully. Okay, it's in your hands. And do like a cleansing meditation ritual. Do that every day. Believe in that. Okay, and you're fine. You're fine. This is the angel. This is the devil. You can defeat them. Okay, they have no power over you at all. But seriously, guys, I'm getting from your angels that you need to detox. You need to detox your body. You have toxins in your body that help um, bring you in that state of fear and confusion. And that state of fear and confusion feeds these energies. And just detox, okay? Detox. Guys, if you appreciate what I'm doing here, please leave a thumbs up. So important that I know that you enjoy these readings and leave a comment. Comments help so much. Leave a purple heart if you don't know what to say or a white heart or just write angel or something. And if you are new and would like to stay, please subscribe and turn on the little bell so that you won't ever miss out on any content on my channel. I haven't asked the question yet. Stack is really chunky, so angels, please help group number three sort out their situation. What can they do? Nine of Raphael. Guys, like to me, he is smudging. You need to smudge, but only smudge if you believe in it. If you have no connection whatsoever with a sage or incense, then it won't work. But if you believe in it, maybe educate yourself about it. And if it sounds right, then do it. But, you know, smoke, smudge, make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. So know that absolutely, if you wish for this to end, and if you want lighthearted energy, and to be free from this spell that you're under, it will work out immediately. The moment that you decide that you don't want it, it has not no power over you, okay? See yourself not as a victim, but as someone who's empowered, and maybe smudge, smudge and... Um, Yes, yeah, sage, for real, guys. Sage will probably work for you if you believe in that. Walk around your house, play some high vibrational music. If you don't like classical music, don't play it. But if you like it, play some Bach. Play Bach. He is the real deal. Walk around your house, cast out the negative energy and visualize purity and bliss. Visualize your angels. And if you have pets, you will notice that they act differently um, after the smudging, after the cleansing. Ten of area. This is like there's greenery. This is Paris. Maybe you have a French connection and like you might be from one of the former French colonies. I'm kind of picking up on uh, some cultures where you maybe still speak French. And I see a lot of... Um, you know, in African culture, uh, you guys, if you, I don't know if anyone's watching from that background, you believe um, in these entities and they are real because your people created these energies, you know, they're part of your folklore and these like witches. Um, but also believe in the angels, please. So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing like a French, someone here is your native language is like a French colony kind of dialect sorry if i got that right but um yeah there is so very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life so maybe get your family members involved and if you have a toxic family member who's giving you that dark energy you need to send them the beautiful angel vibes that you create with your rituals you can obviously you probably can't like walk around them in circles smudging them or chanting uh playing Bach music to them but what you can do if you have someone else who's affected and they're sending you this energy you can visualize them or put up a picture of them while you do these rituals okay so if this resonates put the temperance card and their picture on the altar with the tarot ritual and maybe ask uh, for a trusted friend or family member um, to help you with it. Okay, there's someone you can trust. Page of Ariel. Um, reliable, clever, educated, balanced, 
an excellent opportunity will be offered to you scholarships or the pursuit of education time to get to work so in the context of this reading you might get some help offered from a trusted friend as i've been saying or maybe you find someone online but i'd be so careful with that guys honestly there are so many um hoaxers out there who say that they can cast out demons and they can't do anything i just want their money but you will find information somewhere it will be brought to you by your angels on how you can balance out the energy field and you will be super successful with it. So keep an open mind and an open ear because your angels will help you. Someone or something. Okay. And definitely educate yourself about real spiritual cleansing work. As I said, alpha waves, classical music. That's something you should look into. The moon. Wow. Guys, if you felt drawn to group number two, then definitely watch it too. Someone here, you must have a little fluffy dog. Okay, the dog definitely is a good indicator of when things are wrong. And this little raccoon looks like my cat. So it could also be a cat. Now that you're absolutely protected in this darkness. So you can cast it out if you believe that you have this angel with you and your pets they are a big support in this if you have any know that they can absolutely help you with it and here it says the opportunity to improve your plans listen to your intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger so face it face it that you have this negativity within you or that it comes from someone around you face it embrace it with love visualize the white light do everything i told you and cast it out this is your opportunity to improve your life and your energy field you are in charge you are empowered you can absolutely bring upon sunshine after the dark night all right so guys this is all i have for you i really hope this helped you if that's the case leave a thumbs up otherwise take good care best of luck and until very soon bye, -bye.